So Beyond the Guidebook 2010 starts to connect the dots. It moves from awareness to action. You need to make people aware, then we have to somehow act. It ties back to the Stormwater Planning Guidebook. It's changing the culture in British Columbia. It's convening for action in a number of areas. I'll talk about that a little bit more. Outreach and continuing education. Um, developing outcome-orientated watershed plans. That's where we want to go. So the guidebook is all about rainfall capture at the site scale. You know, what, if you can do it on the site, your watershed starts to behave better. And it's about um, the relationship between volume control and stream health. And I think we heard yesterday, I can't remember the speaker, but somebody said, nobody's talked about the streams. You know, our lakes and our streams. Uh, it's not just about capturing the rainfall. Like we could probably do a really good job of capturing rainfall and not help out our streams at all. It's about making our streams and lakes and watersheds healthy. And that's basically what Carino says. Carino uh, works in DFO. Uh, you know, DFO is pretty interested in streams, obviously. <laughs> and that was his message. You know, it's not about the volume that we can infiltrate. It's about how healthy can we make these streams be.